Timely tutorial how to use Timely for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Timely. Timely is a easy to use tool that enables you to manage your time efficiently. It helps you track time, projects, teams, and plans. And it can make sure that you are able to accomplish your goals effectively. Plus, Timely is also available to connect into your pre-existing ecosystem. So if you're using any pre-existing tools to manage your project, you can easily integrate Timely. This will make sure that your projects are going on time and you're reaching your milestones, which will help you in increasing your profits. So let's get started now. To get started, all you have to do is simply head on over to timelyapp.com and click on start your free trial on the top right. From here, you can start your free trial and you can sign up with your email address or Google or Apple. And I'm just signing in with Google over here. Now you're just going to click on continue. And just like that, this will open up your trial on Timely. So currently I have used Timely in the past. so. I'll just show you guys how to get started with a new account if you want to build a new one. And from here, you're going to enter your company name onto Timely. Then you're going to add how many people are in your company. Then you're going to add what describes your company the best. Now from here, you can enter a phone number and you can go with memory for Mac to see how you spend time. And this is like the memory app. This automatically takes uh, information from your Mac or from your Windows. And what it does is that it creates a daily timeline of everything you're working on. So you don't have to take notes or start timers and you have to turn it on and off as you you know work. But for the memory for Mac app, what that does is that you can just turn it on when you're beginning your work and it will automatically track the number of hours you spent on you know your software tool or your emails or you know whatever it might be it's going to automatically track that now i'm going to continue without automatic tracking and you can auto import your meetings from google zoom or microsoft 360. now from here you will see your dashboard in this dashboard you can get started with your hours tasks projects on the left you also have people reports invoices now one thing to note is first off, I like to build my project first because it's just easier to do that. You can go into projects over here and it will create, you know, your sample projects. You can go into the all project section and I'm just going to delete this pre-existing one and we're just going to delete that. And this is like a general project. They just create this so you have a visual element of how you want to create projects, but I'm going to show you guys step by step how. So we're just going to delete these first and then we're going to start building our first project for our time tracking. So we're going to click on new project over here and build our project name. Let's say it's social media marketing and then you can add your client. You can add a new client as well. I just have myself as my client and then we have our description. You can enter more information about your project. You can also require a note when logging to the project or set external IDs as well. So there might be a external ID that is referred to. Now, after that, you have your people and hourly rates for each individual person. You can add a different hourly rate. You can search for users. I'm only one user in this particular workspace, so I'm just going to add individual rates. You can build individual rates and as well as same for everyone or businesses where you have different roles your individual rates are definitely going to be different so you can go ahead and go into the people and hourly rates and alter the hourly rates let's say it's 50 per hour and then after that you have a budget so if a client gives you a particular budget that they want to stay within you can click on enable budget and let's say we can do a time-based budget or a money-based budget usually clients give us money-based budgets and we convert that into a time-based budget by ourselves but for us let's say the budget for this is 1m and then we have the interval so this is a non-interval invoice based on budget instead of logged hours like this you can base your invoices like that as well but i like to keep the invoicing hourly then you have tags you can add tags as well 
So users will not be able to tag their hour. They can tag their hours in any workspace tags or select tags. And you also have default tags. So you can these would be automatically logged on to a particular project and a particular employee without them having to manually turn it on. But we're just going to create our project first. And just like that, we have our first project. Now, from here, if I go into the left panel and go into tasks, and we are going to start our trial for tasks over here. Now, you guys will see once we have our task, I can just click on new task over here. Let's say this is going to be content creation for Instagram ads. And then, you know, whatever the detail about this particular task is. And then you're going to select your project or your employee clients, not your clients, your employees can select the project that they were working on. And if you have any pre-built uh, tags, they can select those as well. And then you can estimate the number of days or hours. So let's say they were working for six hours and they were working only on the 20th like this. And then after that, you can click on create like this. And just like that, they have created their time sheet. And you can, you know, overview these time sheets. You can even do task planning according to projects as well. And you can also filter out so if you only want to see how much one particular person is working or how forward or how much progress you have in a particular project by clicking on any project and selecting that project. Now, after that, if you go into the hours section on the top, you can click on new entry and you can add particular hours that were spent in a task. So let's say for content creation, we have a log time of six hours. And after that, we can start a timer. We can just save the hours as it is, or you can go ahead and go into add note and you can actually start a timer. So let's say I want to spend eight hours on social media marketing and I can go into start a timer and this would start a timer. And from here, I can get my time recorded on how much time I actually spent like so. Now, your clients can view the time each individual is spending and, you know, expand their budget accordingly as well. After that, you have reports and invoices on the left panel. So if you go into invoices, you can click on new invoice and you can even connect to QuickBooks or any other accounting software. You can connect that with Zapier as well. And you can go ahead and choose your project. So I want to invoice my social media marketing project. And I want to invoice from the 16th till date. And I want to, in my line items, you have three options. If you want to use teams, if you want to use tags, or if you want to use people, I want to use people. And then I'll just click on create and the invoice will automatically be built for the number of hours that were spent. So in this way, you can get started with Timely, which is a super efficient time tracking application for your business. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.